South Dakota. This is the farthest west from home I've ever been. <laughs> the roads are pink. Our first stop is the Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium. The museum includes displays about the fur trade and other history, and live fish and animals from throughout the length of the Mississippi River. From freshwater fishes to salty stingrays. tropical fish too. There was also a collection of birds of prey outside. We played with the interactive exhibits in the children's section. And we toured a huge dredge from the age of steam. you think of the uh, National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium? <laughs> well, it was quite nice. I think House on the Rock was kind of uh, more interesting. And this had that little museum thing, and sometimes their facts were just plain wrong. But it was a very pleasant museum, and I particularly liked the old steam dredge that they have tied up along the side, and we could wander and uh, check out and figure out how the systems worked. How about you, Emily? I thought it was really good. They had uh, lots of cool stuff. Even for kids, and we got to see a movie, um, 4D movie. Uh huh. And it, yeah, I was it was much bigger and more expansive than I thought it was going to be. It got good ratings, and I can see why. It wasn't very busy. It doesn't seem like they have a lot of visitors this time of year, but I would highly recommend. I think it was a great way to spend a day. Sure. Now we're making a quick trip back to Wisconsin to take a campsite for the night. Choppy. Having a fire always makes it feel more like camping. Turn out the hands, please. Only the wood. Chopping and then beer. In that order. Emily finds it fun to cook over a campfire. Both dinner. Across the Mississippi River again. Sing the song. Along with Colonel Jackson down the mighty Mississippi. We took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we fought the bloody British in the town of New Orleans. And we fired our guns at the British camp of It was about as many as it was a while ago. We fired once more and they commenced to run it down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> You really do know a lot of that stuff. Oh, it goes on and on. Oh, uh, yeah. Just like the Mississippi. Old Hickory said we could take him by surprise if we didn't fire our muskets till we looked him in the eyes. We held our fire till we see their faces well, and we opened up our squirrel guns and gave it, really give them hell. <laughs> we went 
to summer camp, didn't you? No, that was an uh, elementary school song. Oh, the old man. <laughs> I love you. You haven't heard the, the, the wild verse. What's the wild verse? Fired our canister, the barrels melted down, then we had grabbed an alligator and we fired another round. <laughs> Filled his head with cannonballs and powdered his behind. And when we let the powder off, the gator lost his mind. <laughs> this is definitely what I expected I am In one tenth of a mile, turn left onto 295th Street. Driving through Iowa, we saw lots of tiny towns. If you blink, you might not even notice you went through one. This is a state of farmland and wind generators. Today was a long drive, but we finally made it to Pocahontas. At night, we can see the wind generators glowing in the distance. Pocahontas, Iowa, because we have sailing friends who live here. Ben and Sylvia still own a farm, but they share crop now, so their days are more relaxed than they used to be. We admire their intentional lifestyle and how well they look after their own health and stay in shape. Like many of our sailing friends, every day they take a walk. In our week with them, we caught up on video work and also heard about their history. We enjoyed the rural scenery and talked a lot about technology. What did you make in school today? Oh, <laughs> I made an air conditioning compressor. So I'm going to lock this into the camper and then I have to run two lines from here to the rear handle. The other one for the turn and the small one to supply our And played a lot of ping pong with them and their son Sky. From afar, Iowa might sometimes seem like a dreary place. But with friendly hosts like Ben and Sylvia, we almost don't want to say goodbye. Diesel or gasoline? Gasoline, yeah. Gasoline. Yeah, we get about 13 Can't and a half. Can't tell anymore from the sound of it. Really? Yeah, the diesel's, diesel's cleaned up? The new ones are real quiet. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 This may be the last driveway we stay in for quite a while. All right. Next stop, South Dakota. <laughs> Farmers aren't going to go 100 miles to check one, but you want to see what happens in my valley, what happens yeah. in my... My land's a little wetter than this, so I think that one's the one I want. Mm -hmm. That corn looks like it would do better if it was wetter. Yeah, we got a few cows, black cows. What kind's that? I don't know. Black Angus. Black Angus, okay. Well, aptly named. 
On the way out, I want to get a closer look at one of those wind turbines. What do you think? You want one? It's a little big for the boat. Uh-huh. Uh, after designing one and building one, it's just neat to see a really big one. It's really cool to see what the professionals do with uh, twisting blades and all. And, uh, yeah, scale. <laughs> That's huge. As we travel westward, the fields of corn slowly turn into fields of millet and cattle. We're in South Dakota! Yep, we're in South Dakota. This is the farthest west from home I've ever been. <laughs> On the shore of the Missouri River, there's a new monument to welcome visitors. This is the Dignity Statue. The plaque says, standing at a crossroads, dignity echoes the interaction of earth, sky, and people. She brings light to the beauty and promise of the indigenous peoples and cultures that still thrive on this land. My intent is to have the sculpture stand as an enduring symbol of our shared belief that all here are sacred and in a sacred place. Dedicated September 17th, 2016. Dale Claude Lampier. Now we're crossing the Missouri River for the first time. Oh, it's beautiful! Only for a week though. And we found a great free campground. places to camp available. This will be our front door. Oh, listen to the waves. Look at it. There's a beach. And this is going to be our view. There's a paid campground about a mile from here, but since we're self-contained, we get a much better view. more like camping when your fire ring is made of natural rock. This is the life, eh? This is the life. After this, we'll continue exploring South Dakota, the Badlands, and the Black Hills, and then move on. But for now, life is pretty good. If you're enjoying watching our travels, please subscribe to our channel. That helps us grow. We don't have many things. Adventure